so as we finished the microbiology practicals now we are starting with pathology practicals so so i want to finish the slides all of all of the slides like i will show the slides and a few characteristic features of those slides so starting with h mole that is hydatiform mole hydatiform mole you you will, you will see a yeah, uh, hydropic villus core hydropic villus core and surrounded by this is a hydropic villus core and uh, you you will be surround, surrounded by large round edematous chronic uh, chorionic villi and hydropic degeneration and decreased vas vascularity of villus stroma and you can see the trophoblastic pro proliferation okay this is the trophoblastic proliferation and it is a hydropic villus core fluid still space you can see grape like vesicles coming out of the uterus hydatiform mole next coming to uh, Ah, this is teratoma. Teratoma means all the three germ layers are involved, like uh, ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. What all structures uh, you can see in teratoma? You can see cartilage, smooth muscle cells, columnar lining, and adipocytes, glands, and uh, stratified squamous cells. And what are the uh, teratoma can be mature and immature. And uh, most commonly, they will ask like Bennett cystic teratoma, which will have a, which will have a pultaceous material and uh, oval like, and it has a cyst wall. And a solid prominence is present inside that is uh, Rokitansky protuberance. And the tissue elements are tooth, bone, cartilage, and other other tissue structures can also be seen. On microscopy, you will see the keratoscopic appearance and uh, keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. You can see keratinized stratified squamous epithelium and uh, adenosal structure like sebaceous glands, sweat glands, and hair follicles are seen. And other endodermal and mesodermal components like bronchus, interstitial epithe uh, intestinal epithelium, cartilage, bone, smooth muscle cells, neural tissue, salivary glands, etc., all can be seen in teratoma. As it is a hydatiform wall, you can see a fluid-filled cyst along with the cytotrophoblast, incisiotrophoblast. And here you can see this is a teratoma. Teratoma, you can see the hair follicle, hair follicle, and uh, these are these are like adipose tissue, the fats filled. As uh, as on staining, the fat is washed off. This is a hair follicle. This is now coming to the mu mucinous cystadenoma of ovary. You can you can see it will be multilocated and it is filled with a thick thick viscid gelatinous fluid. Okay, thick viscid gelatinous fluid. And on microscopically you can see uh, this. Uh, wait, I will show. Uh, there there will be columnar cells uh, with a mu mucus filled in it. Okay, you, these are the columnar cells and uh, with the basal nuclei and mu mucin is filled inside. Okay. This is mucinous cystadenoma of ovary. They are lined by single layer of cells and they have no tendency to uh, little or no tendency to papillae formation and no invasion in the stroma. Filled with mucinous fluid. This is a hair follicle, same you have seen already. Teratoma and this is a hydatiform mole. Next coming to the seminoma. Seminoma, seminoma is a malignant tumor of the testis, okay, male genital system. And uh, here you can see the seminoma cells and uh, seminoma cells. There is one more video of us. Uh, you can watch watch like in detail what is seminoma and all. And uh, seminoma, here are the seminoma cells or tumor cells. Here, here on lobule and here on lobule separated by a fibrovascular stroma. Okay. Seminoma is divided into two parts. One is the tumor cells. Here are the tumor cells and surrounded by a stroma. On stroma, second component. Okay. And there will be new, uh, lymphocytic infiltration in the stroma here. And these are the tumor cells. Or seminoma cells. This is seminoma, most common tumor of our testes. Next, coming to the squamous cell carcinoma. Squamous cell carcinoma is a malignant malignant tumor of the skin, and very characteristic feature of seminoma is this keratin pearl formation. Skeleton uh, and the cells seminoma cells are uh, show exophytic and endophytic growth. When you see this keratin pearl, then it will be squamous cell carcinoma. Okay. Next, coming to Bennett prostatic hyperplasia. Bennett prostatic hyperplasia because of uh, uh, the periurethral region uh, more response to more amount of estrogen. As age advances, the androgen level decreases in adults. So, estrogen concentration increases and the periurethral, gland, periurethral glandular region responds more to the estrogen, and thus there is Bennett prostatic hyperplasia. And uh, here you can see uh, there is proliferation of both a uh, fibromuscular and a glandular part. Okay, there are two proliferation fibromuscular part or glandular part. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. It is not a tumor. Uh, this is renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is nothing but just uh, tumor cells. And there is a large tumor uh, on the upper pole of the kidney. And you can't differentiate much, much, much in uh, renal cell carcinoma. 
in renal cell carcinoma you can see two types of cells like one is uh, clear cells and granular cells clear cell compromises 70 percent of rcc okay clear cells clear cells uh, clear cells the word itself says this, there will be clear cytoplasm and regular pycnotic nuclei granular cells means uh, granular as it knows the word itself says they contain granules okay amount of pink gra pink granular cytoplasm two types of cells one is clear cells and granular cells next uh, next it is uh, cpn okay chronic pyelonephritis uh, this is a very beautiful picture which explains everything you can by itself uh, here here only you can say like uh, there is there is a hyalinization of the arteriole okay hyalinization of the arteriole and uh, where you can see glomerulus Glom uh, you, here is one glomerulus here is glomerulus one more glomerulus okay and uh, periglomerular fibrosis is seen let me show you this is the periglomerular fibrosis okay surrounding and one more important thing you can see is there is a chronic lymphocytic uh, infiltration and most important thing is thyroidization of the tubules okay you uh, this everything which you are seeing this is a thyroidization of the tubules thyroidization means the it will look like thyroid follicle okay filled with colloid the one picture saying whole features of chronic pyelonephritis very beautiful picture okay the next, next is a uh, chronic glomerular nephritis cgn chronic glomerular nephritis uh, let me zoom ha huh. okay where you are seeing the glomerulus glomerulus is here okay how is it glomerulus is uh, a cellular hyalinized glomerulus okay a cellular hyalinized glomerulus along with the atro atrophied tubules surrounding tubules are atrophied and uh, thickened blood vessels are seen thickened blood vessels chronic inflammatory infiltrate is also seen okay there is inflammatory infiltrate a cellular hyalinized glomerulus interstitial fibrosis atrophied tubule and thickening of the blood vessels in chronic glomerular nephritis this is in 40x you can see the the glomerulus is atrophied here this this side the glomerular atrophied glomerulus you can see and okay you can see atrophied tubules okay and lymphocytic lymphocytic infiltration three things are seen here okay next chronic chronic pyelonephritis we already saw it